Today we are replacing the front brake pads and rotors on a Nissan Frontier SE 2005 version, I guess. And first of all, you have to take the tire off, which if you don't know how to do that, there's probably a YouTube video on it. And here we go. Get in the way. First of all, there are two bolts behind you. I don't know if you can see this. He's taking them off right now. There's one up here, right here, and then there's one at the very bottom. Down here. Down here. I don't know if you can see. There we go. Okay, you don't need to get in that close. Shut up. This is going on YouTube, so they got to know exactly how to do it. Otherwise, it's no point in making this video. And then you take the brake calipers. calipers off. And you can just really put them anywhere. Make sure you don't stress the brake cable, cable brake that holds the brake fluid because you don't want any holes in that or anything. And then you take the brake pads off. There's a lot of wear on this one. Especially on the back, there's a big groove. That's why we're replacing it. Now here comes the hard part. You can go by again. The next part for this is you have to take these two bolts off in the back. I don't know if you guys can see this. There's one right here at the top. There's one at the bottom. These were a pain to take off last time. We already did the other side. It took like half an hour just to get those things off. See if you can get off first time. If you have trouble getting it off, you can use your foot because your legs are the strongest part of your body. Man, that was a lot easier that time. Yeah, last time we had to use an air gun. Jeez, this is like the fastest one so far. Alright, now that we have those off, well, loosened at least, what do you have the air gun for? A little bit easier. We're gonna use the air gun just to take it off fast because we're lazy like this. There you go. The whole caliper assembly's off. Now all you have to do is hit the brake pad, brake rotor, until it falls. Do you want me to do it? I'll kick it. You want to kick it? You can use any type of hammer. Usually, it's stuck on there pretty good. There we go. Hopefully they can hear our voice pretty well. Otherwise, it's not really that great. Yeah, pretty much. I mean, if they don't know what we're doing. These are the new rotors. Hey, put them next to each other so we can see what they look like. When you get that one out of there. This is the old brake rotor. It's all rusted and everything on the side. It's a big old, there's a lot of grooves. You really wore these things down. And these are the new ones. Nice and shiny.
Now I'm just positioning it. Our mechanic's obviously having a bit of trouble with this. There he goes. <laughs> and now, basically, you just do the same thing in reverse for when you were taking it off. Put the two bolts back on first. Tighten them down. Need me to hold that for you? The rotor? Now we're going to use the air gun again, because it's way faster. Now, put the brake caliper back on, and uh, which bolt do you put on first? The bottom one? You're going to keep the bottom one on this time? Yes. Alright, you put the bottom one on first, so it stays in place, but you can still put your brake pads on. You just, you're going to fall down like that. You need the, uh, yeah. the uh, what's it called? Wood clamp. Yeah. And you can use, there's plenty of methods for getting these pistons depressed, but we're using a wood clamp, which we find the easiest method, with the least stress. You just put on the edge of the piston, and simply screw it in. And they should stay depressed after you've tightened it, so you don't need to keep it on there. Do you mind if your face, you know, gets in the shot? I don't care. Now for the brake pads. This is like unbelievably fast. I can't believe we even want it this fast. And we got nice ceramic brake pads. For extra stopping power, I guess. You got it? Oh. Yeah. And you take the lube that you get in the uh, packaging, and you just... You have to buy it separately. You have to buy it separately? Yeah. That didn't come with it? No. Okay, well you have to buy it separately. And you just put it on the edges. What would, what would that be called? Like... Gears? Uh, the lips or whatever? Gears. The gears? Ears. The ears. You put on the ears of the brake pad. Those two little things right there. Which you obviously can see with purple. And the back one. You just kind of slip it into place. There should be two clamps, right? Yeah. There's two clamps you have to push it into. Can't really get a good shot of it because... There you go.
He's looping it up. Ready for insertion. <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> you just kinda get into the clamps there. I don't know if you guys can see it. It's right there. It's not that hard. And then lubes up the uh, edges of the caliper and the pistons. So it doesn't squeal. So squeal. it doesn't make a lot of noise, any squeakage while you're braking. Alright. That's pretty easy. And he just puts it back up there and tightens down the top bolt. You need a wrench? What size was it? You got it? Alright. Also, you don't want to have anything under the brake rotor in case you're a jack. Which we really, should, really shouldn't be using a jack. We should be using a jack stand, but we don't have one. But you don't want to keep your hands or legs under the rotors in case it falls so it doesn't like crush you. Because cars are heavy. Anyways, you just tighten up the bolts on the caliper to get it back in place. You want it pretty tight, really tight actually, so it doesn't come undone while you're driving down the road. That'd be bad. Alright. Now for the tire. You got that special lug? Here, I'll get them for you. Alright. Now I put the tire on. Got it. Let's pick it up. You got it all lined up. You just want to position it onto the bolts. And you put the lug nuts on. Sometimes it can be a bit of a pain if your cameraman's not helping you do this. Or if you're by yourself. But he got it. Fortunately, there's a special one. And when you're tightening lug nuts, when you're hand tightening, you don't really have to go across. But just leave that down there. Just go across to show them what you should do. See, you want to go across so the tire tightens evenly on the on the rotor. And that's how to that's how to change a brake pad and rotor. and rotor on a Nissan 2005 Nissan Frontier SE. Thanks.